Hi, this is Mark from Trinic. Today we're going to introduce you to a new product. It's a super lightweight aggregate that Trinic's now carrying. Incidentally, we have a distributor on the west coast that has it for those of you out west, and we're carrying in the east. It's called City Mix. What it is is recycled polystyrene beads that have been coated with a pozzolan. And what that does, it takes care of the problems in the past that were polystyrene caused. City Mix comes in super sacks. Each super sack weighs 150 pounds and contains about 50 cubic feet of material. They come two per pallet, and you can also purchase them one bag at a time. Now, the difference between City Mix and just regular polystyrene, number one is there's no static. If I were to dip my hand into a polystyrene bag, my entire arm would be coated. Where City Mix gets over that problem, it flows nicely. Number two, it gets a bond with the concrete. The pozzolan outer surface of the City Mix aggregate actually bonds to the concrete. It's fairly easy to use. You replace your sand, as we'll see, at a one-to-one -one ratio volume-wise. For instance, if I were to fill this bucket up with sand to this level, weigh it, and I got, say, 50 pounds, and my mix called for 100 pounds of sand, I would simply fill City Mix up that same volume to get 50% City Mix. Now, what we did prior to distributing City Mix is we did hundreds of tests on different uh, dosages of City Mix. We did 50%, 70%, and 100%, as well as a styrofoam replacement mix. Now, the 50% is exactly that. We replaced 50% of the sand with City Mix and the 70 and the 100. The styrofoam mix, which these are, they actually floats. We used 100% City Mix, and then we only used a 30% cementitious content to make a castable foam. This machine is a uh, flexural test machine for GFRC. Now we're going to show you how to build a mix with City Mix. For those of you who don't have it, we offer a free calculator so you can calculate the volumes that you'll need. City Mix. We're going to do a 50% sand replacement. So we're going to start with a 100 pound mix. Out of a 100 pound mix, we would have 50% cementitious. So out of that, we'd have a 50 or 40 five pounds Portland Portland cement we like federal white and then we would have five pounds or about 10 percent silica fume then we are going to have that's the cement side we're going to have a total of 50 pounds of aggregate by volume though. So we're going to put 25 pounds Q-Rock. That's what we use for our sand. Sand. And then we're going to put the equivalent volume of 25 pounds City Mix for our back coat. Next we need admixture. Admixtures are dosed as a percent of the cementitious, so we're going to use uh, we'll use 3.5 percent of Trinix GFRC Admix. It's a powder. It works well with City Mix. So to do that, we take our trusty cell phone. We multiply 50 pounds cementitious times 3% or 3.5% equals 50 times 3.5% equals 1.75 pounds. 
That's how you figure that out. Change that to 3.5. Water gets dosed as a percent of the cement. The water to cement ratio is simply the pounds of water divided by the pounds of cement. Now to short circuit a little, we have 50 pounds cementitious. We're going to multiply that by, we want a water cement ratio of like a 0 0.34, 0 0.34 would be fine for us. So that equals 50 times 0.34. 17 pounds of water. Next thing we need is fiber. Fiber gets dosed as a percent of the total dry weight. Dry weight, dry weight. We're going to count this as 50 pounds dry weight even though it's not going to be that. It's going to be the equivalent volume of 50. So we're going to say we have 100 pounds. So we take 100 times 3% fiber load equals, should be 3 pounds. 3 pounds. Now, we did studies where we increased the fiber load to 4%, 5%, but there is no increase in flexural strength. They're available online. You can email us if you need them, or they're on our Dropbox page. So there's the mix we're going to build, and we'll show you how to build it and mix it. First thing I'm going to do is weigh 25 pounds of sand. We're going to call it 25. Now I'm going to mark the bucket to the level of the 25 pounds of sand. Put this in my mix bucket. Now I'm going to fill the rest up with city mix to that mark. Put this in, that gives me the equivalent volume to 50 pounds of sand. It's that simple. Next, I'll put, uh, I always like to put sand on the bottom. That way you never have to scrape the bottom. Your mixer will mix and clean all the sand off. Then I put uh, city mix, cement, silica fume, and then the uh, admixtures. Let's see, 45 pounds of Portland. pounds of silica fume. Oh, five pounds. Add mixtures right on top. And we are ready to batch. I've got my water weight out, and that should do it. Now what I like to do, you saw how we loaded our ingredients when I batch. I put about 80% of the water right on in, maybe 90. Mix that. Don't go all the way down yet. Mix the top, get that in the slurry, then you can go down and around the edges and you won't stall your mixer. Actually, with City Mix, it's very easy to mix. You can see I can go all the way down right away.
This is one of the keys to getting lumps out of your mix. Shear it up before you add all the water. I'm going to add my fiber, mix it in, see what it looks like. Good enough for me. I've got it mixed up. It's probably like a 0.30. So you can see it would almost hold a vertical. We waited five minutes. Five or so minutes it would hold a vertical. This we're just going to cast a sheet of it. Just for experimental purposes. Now I let this sit for about 16 hours overnight. It's hot in our shop, it's probably 80 degrees. But this piece is thin, it's only a half inch thick it's for samples. So I cover it with plastic, always cover it with plastic, then I used an insulated tarp. Now if this piece were thicker, I would not have put this tarp on in this weather because it would have gotten too hot. In the winter time, you might have to add supplementary heat. These are just held down with some two-sided tape. If you buy indoor outdoor carpet tape, it will peel off. If you buy indoor only carpet tape, it turns into a gooey mess. <coughs> There's our sheet. As you can see, even though this is, uh, was not SCC, because we didn't want our, our uh, stuff to float, with Trinix admixtures, you definitely get a better degree of compaction than you do with any other liquid one. This is only a half inch thick. This will be cut into smaller sections, and we'll do our test with it at a 50% replacement this is 25% lighter than standard GFRC. So you can take a quarter of the weight off your piece just by replacing the uh, sand with city mix.